Hey there, first graders. I thought today I would read you a cool little book called Curious Critters, Ohio, by David Fitzsimmons. So, since we've been working in class on listening for new ideas, listening for things that we didn't know before, as I'm reading today, I would like for you to keep track of new things that you learned, things that you didn't know before. If you need to, you can pause the video and write some ideas down, or I'm going to make it possible for you to add your thoughts on Schoology if you're connected. Um, Grown-ups, if your kids are not connected to Schoology, shoot me an email and I will be able to um, get them connected, or you can message me on Class Dojo. So, Take a look, first graders. Just like we do before every book, think about some things that you notice and things that you wonder. Screech Owl. Listen for my nighttime screeching in Ohio. Luna Moth. Look for me flying under the moon in Ohio. Does this remind you of any other books we've read? Possum. Look for me exploring backyards at night in Ohio. Blue Jay. Listen for me calling J J J J in Ohio. This could be a good time to pause and whoever you're listening with, talk to them about if you've ever seen any of these animals. Groundhog. Look for my underground burrows in Ohio. Snail. Look for me leaving slime on logs in Ohio. Green June Bug. Listen for me buzzing like a bee in Ohio. Cardinal. Listen for me singing cheer, cheer, cheer in Ohio. Question mark butterfly. Look for me fluttering through parks in Ohio. Red squirrel. Listen for me chewing pine cones in Ohio. Peregrine falcon. Look for me swooping from skyscrapers in Ohio. Wood frog. Listen for me quacking like a duck in vernal pools in Ohio. Grasshopper, look at look for me jumping through fields in Ohio. Painted turtle, listen for me splashing in ponds in Ohio. Tiger swallowtail butterfly, look for me drinking nectar from flowers in Ohio. Cottontail rabbit, look for my footprints in the snow in Ohio. There we are. So as I was reading, I'm hoping that you were listening for some new ideas, things that you didn't know before. If you heard something in here that you didn't know about or you didn't know what it meant, ask your grown up if you can look it up. I'm guessing that the term vernal pools might have been a new phrase for some of you. That might be something that you could look up with your grown up and then let me know on Schoology or on Dojo what you found out. Um, have a great day. Keep reading. Stay safe. Stay inside. Wash your hands a lot. Love you guys.